Peta fish are much more than just their vibrant colors and graceful movements in an aquarium. Bettas are complex creatures with a range of behavioral needs that demand attention. Research published in the Flemish Veterinary Journal explores the potential welfare issues of the Siamese fighting fish in both retail and hobbyist aquarium settings. The study highlights the importance of understanding the unique biology and behavioral needs of bettas, particularly in relation to their housing conditions. It raises concerns about the welfare of these fish due to the wide variety of commercially available husbandry products and the lack of scientific studies investigating optimal living conditions. The research identifies several factors that could potentially affect the welfare of beta splendens, including limited aquarium dimensions, the prevalence of bacterial infections, and aggression issues related to conspecifics or other species in the same aquarium. The study emphasizes the need for more research using biological and physiological indicators to better understand and to improve the living conditions of bettas in captivity. A particularly interesting and often overlooked aspect of their behavior is the concept of learned helplessness. While not extensively researched in bettas specifically, this phenomenon provides crucial insights into their care and mental well-being. Learned helplessness is a psychological phenomenon where individuals, after experiencing repeated adverse and uncontrollable situations, come to believe they have no power to change their circumstances. This condition, which is observed in both humans and animals, emerges from consistent exposure to stressful and negative experiences that are perceived as inescapable. In the animal world and particularly in bettas, this manifests as a significant reduction in their natural responses and efforts to adapt or escape from challenging environments. When bettas are constantly subjected to stressful conditions such as cramped tanks, poor water quality, or aggressive tank mates without the ability to change these factors, they may exhibit signs of learned helplessness. This is often evidenced by a noticeable decrease in their interaction with their environment, such as less swimming or exploring and increased weariness. They may also show a lack of response to stimuli that would typically provoke curiosity or defensive reactions. This condition is particularly concerning as it not only affects the betta's immediate behavior and quality of life, but can also have long-term effects on their overall health and well-being. Bettas originate from the tropical regions of Southeast Asia, where they inhabit rice paddies and shallow waters. These environments are unique and have led bettas to develop an exceptional organ known as the labyrinth organ, enabling them to breathe both air and water. This adaptation, along with their territorial nature, plays a vital role in their behavior and stress response. Various factors can contribute to stress in bettas. One of the primary sources of stress is inadequate tank conditions. Small tank sizes, poor water quality, overcrowding, and a lack of adequate hiding spaces can significantly impact a betta's well-being. Being territorial, bettas require enough space to establish their domain. Cramped or unsuitable living conditions can lead to heightened stress levels. If such stress becomes chronic and remains unaddressed, it can lead to learned helplessness, where bettas may become passive and show less responsiveness to their environment. The impact of stress on bettas extends beyond behavioral issues to physiological health. Prolonged stress can compromise their immune system, making them more susceptible to diseases. Additionally, a lack of environmental stimulation in restrictive conditions can lead to symptoms akin to depression. A common misconception about bettas is that they require minimal space and care, which often results in neglect of their actual needs. In reality, bettas thrive in environments that offer adequate space, clean water, and intellectual stimulation to ensure their physical and mental well-being. Addressing learned helplessness in bettas involves creating an enriched environment that caters to their specific needs. This includes providing a tank of suitable size, maintaining optimal water quality, and creating a habitat that closely resembles their natural environment to minimize stress. Regular tank maintenance and careful monitoring of water parameters are essential practices. Furthermore, enriching their environment with plants, rocks, or other decor can offer necessary stimulation for bettas, fostering both their mental and physical health. Understanding the social behavior of bettas is crucial. While known for their aggressive tendencies towards other males, 
bettas can interact positively with certain fish species. Introducing compatible tank mates or even reflective surfaces for limited periods can provide healthy stimulation, preventing boredom and stress. In conclusion, a deeper understanding of learned helplessness in bettas underscores the significance of comprehending their natural behavior and environmental requirements. Responsible pet ownership involves creating living conditions that support the thriving of these fascinating creatures. By being attentive to their stressors and catering to their environmental and social needs, we can ensure a healthy, active, and fulfilling life for these captivating aquatic pets. Thank you for exploring the complexities of betta fish care and the psychological phenomenon of learned helplessness with us. At Aquabioculture, we are dedicated to enhancing the well-being of aquatic species through informed and sustainable practices. Your engagement in this vital topic helps us in our commitment to responsible aquaculture. For more information or to join our efforts, please contact us. We appreciate your support in promoting better understanding and care for these fascinating creatures. Thank you for watching and for being part of Aquabioculture's mission towards healthier aquatic environments.